guys, it's Danielle. I am here because we are going to go ahead and do another Canva tip and trick for you. We are going to create designs utilizing images from our back office. So I'm going to go ahead and create a sign. We're going to start again with that Instagram post. I just personally absolutely love that square. It just makes life easier. So you're going to go to home. There's two ways you can get some images here. The first one we're going to go to is resources. And then you're going to go to images. And then there are some amazing images from Ping Zebra from your back office. Now, I am personally going to do, because today is um, no, is pie day, which is one of my favorite days, I'm going to go ahead and grab that lemon meringue pie image. So as you see, you click on it, it pops up. You can go ahead and save that image as. So again, I'm going to go to my PZ images folder, and I'm going to go ahead and add it over there. I'm going to go back to my design. I'm going to go to uploads. I'm going to go to upload files. And I'm going to go ahead and add that lemon meringue pie image. I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And then you can leave it as it is, or you can adjust it to fit the image that you want. I am going to go ahead and adjust it to fit the image. I'm going to go ahead and add text. And you can do a various of text to do. Um, one of my favorites is the sparkle. So you can do happy high day. And then you can also, again, change that color to make that glow work for you on whatever way you want it to. You can go ahead and also adjust the size. So I can make it say happy pie day up top. Or you can go back to that yellow again that it was initially because I think it would be prettier on there. You can do it right over the image, however you want. But happy pie day with lemon meringue pie. Now, this is an image from Pink Zebra. You are able to utilize it, but you do have to add that independent consultant logo. And remember, we did save it last time we were in on our last training. So just going to go ahead, grab that independent consultant logo, and add that in there. Wherever you want, just make sure you follow the rules. It can't be like over top of wording, anything along those lines. So add it in there. Then just do it like, kind of like as it's right in that little cube, uh, I guess I say that tile. Now for me, again, one of my favorite things to do is I love to go ahead and add borders. Um, so you can do like a box, you can write box. And you can see some different things that come up. There are frames, boxes. But if you go into graphics, you can see that they have like borders almost already ready there. And that is actually what I love to tend to use is one of the borders. Now, this one is actually more rounded that I grabbed. I'm going to go ahead and delete that out because I'm just not the border I want. But let me go to, I'm going to go to my elements where I normally use them all. I normally have pre-made borders that I use. Where are you at, my friend? Recently used. You're not recently used? Apparently, I have not recently used a border. <laughs> Crazy. That doesn't seem right. Oh, lovely. I love doing this as I'm going because you can see me. Um, I'm just letting you see the raw. Oh, there we go. There it is. The raw footage of me working through this as I talk to you guys. All right. So you could go ahead and put that in there. Now, again, it is. Oh, now I see here the Paisley is kind of getting covered up. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and position it. You're going to right click and it's going to say, um, align or sorry arrange and you can say um bring to forward bring to front send backward different things along those lines so this way paisley is able to come out you can go ahead and arrange her to she's up now and you can go ahead and adjust her a little bit more so that way she's not covered by the logo we need to you can go ahead and adjust that move it around Adjust where need be, and you're good to go. Just a box again to fit how you want it to fit. And then, if I want to, I can go ahead again, change the color. Um, I might want to change it to that yellow to kind of keep going with the yellows that are in the picture. I love that it gives photo color options to kind of go along with what they're seeing in the photo. I am, however, going to go ahead and keep it in that pink. All right, perfect. I'm just going to adjust a little bit more. I want to make sure it definitely covers all those edges. Perfect. All righty. So that is the first way you can do it. Or then you can go ahead. 
you can add a page. And if you go to your back office, you go and you can do it under consultant or customer order, whichever you choose. I'm just going to go to consultant order. And you can go ahead. You could type in lemon. Because Again, I'm using for lemon meringue pie. Now you can type in whatever. You can use whatever image you want. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and find lemon meringue pie. Hit save image. You're just going to like right click on it, right click. And again, save image and keeps it in my little folder. I'm going to go back over here to my uploads and I'm going to go ahead and upload the file. And then I'm going to customize it in there. While we're here, might as well throw in our little pink zebra logo because we know we're going to utilize it, right? And you're going to have the lemon. And again, you can adjust it to however you want. If you want, you can add a back color. You know, oh, I really want it in pink. You know, whatever you want to make this image yours. And again, you can go to text. You can do happy pie day. Pie day. And you can do, I mean, some fun things you could do because this one is, you can adjust it to fit centered or whatever makes sense for you. You can make it smaller, bigger. You can actually, let's have fun. Let's do some fun things here. Let's do this one. And we're going to do happy up here. Oh. This was two different fonts, and sometimes those two different fonts want to be tricky. Happy, and then we'll go down to the second one, Pi Day. All righty, you can go ahead, add that in there. Again, you can change the color if you really want to, to purple or whatever makes sense for you. So I'm going to go back and just change it back to the color that it originally was. And you can adjust the size, adjust the font, adjust the placement. And there you go. You have two images that you made from your back office that you can go ahead and utilize for different days of the month, different seasons, different things along those lines. So if you have any other questions, let me know. But I hope this helps. Another quick, easy tip for you to use Canva. I hope you enjoy. Have a great day, guys.